Welcome to our channel, Dr. Bala's Chemistry. I'm your Dr. Bala. Today we are going to discuss about the very important conversion that is benzene to methylbenzoate. So whenever we started to doing the conversion, we have to be very careful in this while writing reactant as well as the product. Let us start. Uh, let's going to write the reactant. So my reactant is benzene here. And uh, my product, what I have to prepare it, that is methyl benzoate. So I have to write the structure of methyl benzoate. That should be very, very carefully you have to written. So here, uh, benzoate. So A should be added. So that may be an ester. That must be an ester. So here, C double bond O is there. And O, CH3. This is a methyl benzoate. That is what I will be getting. CH3. C6H5COOCH3 that is the structure of methyl benzoate. So I have to write the reactant as well as the product structure, then only I have to convert, start doing the conversion. Let's do the conversion here. I am in need of uh, one carbon atom. So I have to add two carbon atoms. Okay. So if I want to add a carbon atom, what I have to do? So I have to do here the benzene. There is no carbon in that. So I have to add carbon. By the way, I can add. Uh, so in the case of uh, AlCl3, that is anhydrous aluminium chloride in presence of CH3Cl in presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride, this will be acting as a catalyst here. So here it is nothing but uh, alkylation, that is friedel crafts alkylation will take place. So if I am if I'm conducting the reaction, so I will be getting a product like this. Say for example here, uh, yeah, we can consider CH3 as the product. So I got toluene. Once I got a toluene, so I have to do. So I need to I, I need to convert this into COO group. Okay, COO group. So for that I need to do oxidation. Nothing but uh, acidified acidified KMnO4 because that will be acting as a strong oxidizing agent. In that I'll be getting converted into benzoic acid. COOH is there. Okay, are you able to understand? So here I got benzoic acid. So once I got a benzoic acid, okay, I have to convert this just by the react reacting with alcohols because acids and alcohols are combined to form produce esters. So likewise, how many number of carbon atoms I need? So already I had one carbon atom in benzene ring. So here after I have to add one more carbon atom. For that I will be taking HOCH3 methyl alcohol. This methyl alcohol which is going to eliminate the water molecule by the way I will be giving the product with the elimination of water molecule that is nothing but ester. So I will be getting methyl benzoate. That is what I will be getting at methyl benzoate as a product. So are you able to understand students? Are you able to understand? So here it is I have to add. So here there is no carbon atom here. Here I have to add two carbon atom in benzene. Because here common thing is benzene. Here also benzene is there. But in that I, I am having a COOCH3 group. So I have to add ester group. Okay. That's what I have to use. So CH3Cl, AlCl3. If you do alkylation, I will be getting toluene as a product. This will be called as a toluene. Toluene as a product. Once I got a toluene that can be oxidized with acidified KMnO4, I will be getting benzoic acid. Benzoic acid. Once I got a benzoic acid, it will be reacting with an alcohol to form respective ester. That is methyl benzoate. Now I can get my target is achieved. I think so you understand very well. Thank you so much for watching. Please go forward to others to get benefit. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. And don't forget to give a like to this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Welcome to the tip of the day session. So here for the tip of the conversion. For this particular conversion uh, here, uh, what is the product they ask? Benzoate they ask. So they are asking some ester. Okay. They are asking, they are asked to prepare some ester. So what do you mean by ester? Ester is nothing but, so it is nothing but uh, the reaction with the carboxylic acid and the alcohol. If I am taking alcohol or dash. Okay. So here, there will be elimination of water molecule. So by the way, I will be getting a product that is R, C, double band O and here it is O, here it is R dash. Here, for this particular product, you just you add R and as well as R dash. 
So again, you have to add R and R dash. Now you can see what is the difference between these two. So C double band O, o group is there. So this group is common. What about the thing I have to add? So here R will be. Here R is C6 H5 phenyl ring. Here R dash is R dash is CH3. Just by the looking of product, we can able to identify the reactants. So once you find out it's an ester, so I need to prepare it the ester from alcohol and acids. Okay. So if I need to get acid, so alcohol I can that add directly, but I need to prepare acid. So where I have to prepare? Just by making alkylation as well as oxidation. By the way, I'll be getting acid. So and it is acid is reacting with alcohol. I'll be getting a product as ester. That's it. I think so. This will be. It will be very useful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for learning. Share and like this video.